Hey, this is Daniel, and this is my final project presentation for Music 158. Here I built an audio effects processor with max MSP. The way it works is you choose an input file, or you use a mic, and if you feed it through a simple UI where you can fine tune the parameters of each effect. The major changes since my midterm are some new effects, including a new distortion, a teeth, granular stereo faker, and some new things added to the delay. I've also created a way simpler UI so that not so many parameters have to be controlled by the user all the time. This is with the help of using some presets. I've also converted everything into ODOT so that all the values are more variable and easier to change. So if we look underneath, we can see some of my older UI over here. I've used this for testing and to see how all the parameters can be fine-tuned to choose them for the presets. Here in a sub-patch, I've pre-programmed pre some presets, three of them. So all in all, in the end, what we have is a pretty simple user interface the user can change the distortion amount and the delay time. The granular stereo faker stays the same no matter the preset. And the teeth and the delay each have some different unique sounds with each preset. Let's hear how they sound. So this is just the regular audio, just for comparison. I'm going to start with the delay. So as I change the delay time, it plays back a little bit later. So this is the first preset for the delay. It kind of stretches the sound out and fills up the space quite a lot. The second preset is kind of similar, but I think it's a little more spacey and echoey. The, th the third preset is kind of intense, but it gives it a kind of wobbly wah-wah effect. <laughs> Could use some fine tuning probably. So let's hear what the distortion sounds like. It's a little too much with the entire ensemble coming into the audio feed, but you can imagine if it were just the sax, it would be a little more mellow. Let's hear the granular stereo faker. This is actually my favorite, but it's kind of hard to hear without good headphones. Kind of makes it a little more grainy. Last but not least, I have a teeth effect. So this is the first preset, and each of them are kind of a little bit more intense. And then of course you can layer them in any way that you want. So say we want to have the teeth fed right into the delay. And then let's hear what that sounds like.
So I'm just cycling through some of these presets. It's easy to overdo it, but a little bit of these effects is useful. So, that's my final project for Music 158. Thanks for watching.